right guys, so I'm heading to Dunn's Barbecue. I'm doing a Barbecue Wars video and uh, if you've never seen a Barbecue Wars video, it's where we travel around looking for the best barbecue. Right now, best barbecue I've ever had was in North Long Beach, Robert Earl's Barbecue. And best barbecue I've had in Tennessee so far is Peg Leg Porker in Nashville. So this is in Franklin, Kentucky. Hopefully by the grace of God, I will make it there safely in the storm and I'll see you when I get there. So here I am in the middle of nowhere with my buddy Herb. How you doing, man? What's going on, guys? How are you doing today? So you, you told me about this place. This is where you live, at, uh, or used to live. Not anymore, now you're moved to Tennessee. Correct. But you know about this little place right behind you? Yes. Dunn's Barbecue? Yes. Can I, look? I mean just look, we're like in a neighborhood, guys. Literally, I parked in somebody's driveway. I have no idea whose lot this is. But that little place over there, is there a place to sit inside? Or do we yeah. have to sit in our couple cars? Couple tables, and... there's a couple tables. Well, we better go now. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go grab the second table. All right, so here we go. No loitering, so we better go right in. What does that say? That's hours. Their hours are? Monday, you're looking at 10, about 10.30 to 5 p.m. each day. That's cool. They're closed on uh, Saturdays? Yeah. Oh, and we're in. That was, wow, pretty cool. <laughs> you're looking at me like, <laughs> oh, dude, dude, there's really only two tables. Oh, yeah. No, I was joking. No? I said, we'll get the second table. <laughs> We really, I'm gonna throw my hat What's down. What's up, Mr. Don? Hey, hey, oh, man, how you know? Good to see you. Whoa, whoa. That's Mr. Dunn? Yeah. Are you the man? No pictures. I'm so sorry. No <laughs> pictures. I don't know. All right, well, good thing I'm only doing video then. That's good. <laughs> Look at this. There it is back there. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. You will in a minute. <laughs> okay, so there's the menu right there. Chicken plate, seven dollars. Oh, Shredded seven and ribs in two oh, sides, ten dollars. Wait, does that? Yeah. Shredded you and ribs sir? in good. two I sides. Good. I'm her Park Castle. Look at that. I'm Gerald Oates. Oh, it's Mr. Gerald. Are you, know you from here, Gerald? Well, I'm originally from Glasgow. Okay. I've lived here pretty much most of my life. Most of your life? Yeah. <laughs> cornbread. Okay, cool. Crispy, crispy on the edges. Oh, that cornbread is the Is it? So you said it's it's greasy and crispy on the edges? Yes. Yeah. Do you love that? Yeah. She just said greasy, crispy on the edges is exactly how I love it. If you've ever seen the Marx Brothers movie where there's like 12 to 15 men in the cabin in a little room and they're all packed and they come falling out, that's what it feels like right now because there's like a ton of people here all getting food in this little building. It's pretty cool. And everybody knows everybody. Everybody walks in, he, Mr. Dunn, it's Mr. Dunn, right? Mr. Dunn knows everybody by name. Unbelievable. This is Joker Phillips. He is a well-known football player. He actually uh, played football here in Franklin. Went on to play at University of Kentucky. Went on to play a little professional ball. Coaching now. I think he's up at Ohio State now. Right. Uh, this is Herbert Williams, uh, councilman here in Franklin. Um, Upstanding gentleman here. Uh, very top is Kenny Perry. Kenny Perry, of course, is from Franklin. Yep. Uh, so he's got that up there. And uh, this is Marty Brown. He's a country right. singer here in Franklin. Yep. Uh, oh my goodness. It looks even better in film. <coughs> Look at that 60 frames per second of nothing but beautiful, <coughs> beautiful barbecue right there. And the potato salad. Oh my goodness. I have a feeling I'm going to want that recipe. Not that I'm gonna get it. He makes that from scratch. I bet. Puts his own potatoes out there. Wow. All right, there you go. Baked beans, the ribs, and the shredded pulled pork. Gorgeous. Oh, you can't forget the hoe cake. This is it. Oh, is this like a, is this like a hot water? Is this like a hot water corn cornbread? I think so. Yeah, this thing weighs a ton. That's a hot water cornbread. It's gotta be. That is nice and. Wait, hot sauce? Oh no, I don't want to ruin it. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and dig in. Oh, you want to you bless this yeah, first? Bless Amen. All right, let's dig in. <laughs> just, just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so circumstances, I'm, I'm finding out all the hometown talk. Circumstances uh, occurred that caused this place to have to shut down for seven months. And people were freaking out. They're like, what are we going to do for barbecue? Right? And so Herb here has not even not even waited for me. He's he hasn't had this barbecue in the seven months he was closed. Oh man! 
and so it's good. his first time back, so he's just going for it. Mm. So while he <laughs> he's making them groaning noises, my wife tells me stop that. Because why do you do that? It's so embarrassing. It's good. <laughs> I'm like, mm. how he's hey still there. walking with a torn ACL. I don't know. All right. So, oh, did I get a fork? Yeah, here it is. Hang on a minute, guys. Well, Gotta get my fork. So first thing is the pulled pork. Look at that. See that? Want to bite? You want to bite? Yeah. Mm. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That he's been serving that all day, and it's as moist as if he pulled it right out of the cooker right now. It's so good. Got a little tanginess. Got his sauce drizzled on there. You know he's making that sauce with scratch. That is real good. Wow. Um, yeah, it's kind of leans more towards the. Um, I wouldn't say I would say Kansas City style. More, it got the little bit of a vinegar bra base with the brown sugar. Tastes a little molasses in there possibly. This is what I'm excited about. Oh my goodness! Have you never had a hoe cake? They're awesome. And there's there's regular cornbread, and there's hot water cornbread. And hot water cornbread comes out more dense. This is really, really heavy. So I'm gonna try it right now. That the lady was raving about this. Mmm. Mmm. So talking about that potato salad, oh my gosh. Dude, what happened? I just I looked away for a second and you just woofed down all that food. Don't look away, man. It's gonna be gone. What's it's going coming. on in that potato salad? Oh man, it is so creamy. Man, it's so good. I, I love it. Nice. It's just the right sweetness. Oh, awesome. That's good. Mm. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be critical on this because I have to be. I can't just just because we know the owner doesn't mean we gotta hold him up against everybody else. So I'm gonna give it a bite. Here we go. You know what I like? I like it. Pull off the bone, but cleanly but not fall off the bone until <laughs> I ask for it. All right? So I'm going to ask for it right now. I want $120 on the ball game. Look at that. Look at that. I'm on my way to select. The outside's crispy. The inside's tender. Comes off the bone only when you want it. I may just come back here just to visit here. I'm serious. Tell me. Mmm. Oh, we nailed it. Oh my goodness, okay. Eight, 12, 20. Thank you. All right, so. I am a big fan of baked beans. We're gonna try this. Mm -hmm. Okay, those baked beans is like being at home and kind of mama makes. And my mama didn't make baked beans, but I know how mama should make baked beans. And if she'd made them, they'd be, they'd be that little bit of heaven right there. Seriously? Guys, it's not. I mean, that's some clean. He's making everything from scratch. Everything. Those are amazing baked beans. Here we go. It's from scratch. Potatoes and everything. He makes it. I drop food all the time. Thankfully, it wasn't in my lap. Here we go. Whoop. <laughs> totally me. I'm going to get the rest. Hold on. Mm. Everything all right? Mm. Wonderful. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Mm. Look at it. <laughs> Dude, you, you have, must have a halo over you because <laughs> this food is, this barbecue is from heaven. Amen. Oh my goodness. Guys, that potato salad is my all time favorite in the building. That potato salad is, tastes like nothing I've ever had before. A little mustard, a little mayo. Um, it's got tons of things going on in it. I can't even identify all of it. I don't know if it has dill. I, I don't even care. So when you're coming through Franklin, Kentucky, get a whole big thing of potato salad and bring it home for the whole family. Okay, guys. I don't know how to explain how good this was. I wouldn't even compare it to Barbecue Wars Tour. There's amazing barbecue places out there like uh, like The Shed that won the Wars Tour. But it tastes like restaurant or mass barbecue, which isn't bad. I'm not knocking any of that. This here was made in a little kitchen. I felt like I just went over to somebody's house. That's what it is. This barbecue is like home barbecue. Oh, I can't even explain it, but it's delicious. I guarantee you the potato salad will be a home run to you. You'll love the baked beans and the hoe cakes. 
are to die for. So good. You do want to dip those in your baked beans. Okay, guys? So, Mr. Dunn, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the kindness, that you, the way you treated me. All your customers were so kind to me. They helped me order. They love you so much here. A uh, little secret, a little bit of heaven right here in Franklin, Kentucky. It's Dunn's Barbecue. And I'm giving him a 50 out of 50 because everything I tasted was perfect. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.